what is going to happen? I'm going to go right back to the verse. Verse 2. It used to be here. Same verse. Whoa. I want to play all those chords. But I, you can see that I've uh, reduced it down because it's just too hard to play all of those, but I really always wanted to go, or I don't know. No, it was a D minor on the top. Yeah. But what do I want to do before it was this, this uh, crawl down to minor third and then crawl up the chord? But this time, I'm going to go on the second verse starting with just a straight G chord. Because at one time when I was just doing an A, 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 one, to hear the beginning, when I was further running it, A, 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 But then I, the first, then I tried it with a G. I did. But then it always goes, it still goes back to the G sharp. This is verse time, first time. All this, all these chords right here, first chords, verse from the verse, and now we're in verse two, but instead of starting with an A, 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 I'm gonna go in with a G. But we same place, you know, the right hand is same playing the same, right same thing. But instead of going just G G G, I'm gonna walk G G. I'm gonna walk the eighth note, a version of a G chord, a nice full G chord, octave, even full, octave, 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 octave. But I'm gonna play on top, and then ends on a B right there, and I make it like, oh, uh, you caught me. Watch. Here it comes again. <laughs> Here's that B right there. Here's that B. Here's that B. Okay. All right. So here we go. I got a little echo here. Hold it. <laughs> I like it. Let's go. I really, really. So I really got what I got going was a G chord. B sticks out. Here we go. second before I go to the G sharp and what did I do in the G sharp before so here, here you can see this it's really a, it's it's the it's the no chord it's the it's identified as a no chord part you see there's no chord here and C way over here I did not analyze this but it's just I was talking about before that top chord is just like a little D minor and then it comes back to an A an inverted and then that um, D diminished, or however you want to identify it, but it has a G chord bass, G, G, boogie bass, B, and there's the B right there, and then it goes again, G, B, D, B, D, <laughs> and it, but together it goes, <laughs> here it comes again, It's a great part. And then it goes one more time. Just because of the first melody. And there's the B right there. But now it's in time. 50% of music. And it changes to, to a G sharp. So now we're in the G sharp where we did before. We just walked the G, G sharp. But then we walk down. Remember, remember how we did that before? It was like always a, it was instead of a, Instead of a walk down, it was a, a walk up of the seven of the of the G sharp minor seven. And then I just walked down just because I had figured it out when it sounded good. Walking in that in that next measure while I'm doing the breaking chord of the G sharp minor seven. 
Right? It's going do 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 it goes on the keyboard. There I got it all the way. And then uh, back down to A wait 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 little ding ding do do uh A uh A7 and here's that A7 in the left hand and then the walk down a little different than the other one but it's this it's the same uh, process you know walk up the seven walk up the four note seven chord and then come down in some different way whether it's whole set or half set that sounds cool that you fool around with and figure out <laughs> and then you remember it and you say yeah that's where i want to do it and that's the reason you do it so i go with this a7 and then walk down and then that a7 a7 four chord i was talking about a little earlier using it and then um and then i keep grinding against it with a new uh, a complete dissonance before i'm going to break into the into the highlight of the chorus and that is i'm going to use an b flat a b flat but a b flat major chord just for dissonance why because then it's going to feel so neat when it um, resolves. And then so it, it goes into a B flat. And everyone's going, what are you playing? It's all off. And then the no chord part right before the building into the core, building further into this chorus. And then no. Uh, into the chorus, the end notes, the N C end notes, the C sharp D sharp, it goes out of the verse into the chorus with the single note A B. It starts analyzation here A Seuss with a B bass, A E with a D bass, and and we're right back into the chorus. But it's such a bizarre verse because the verse takes you into a distortion. It, it takes you completely, the, I mean, the second verse here I'm talking about, it takes you into, so it's, it comes into this beautiful, it's so happy. And then it just kind of gets uh, angry. It's the B part. Let me flip the page here. Uh, and then going again, After the two G's that are purposely G chord, G, G chord, right? G full chord. And I can only go that far as time permits. Time is 50% of music. So every time I just go G, but at the same time I'm playing the verse on top. G on the bass. Here's I said before. Right? Now, watch here. And so then as I'm resolving off that G part here. And it's the G sharp. So you take a little quick analyzation of this. G sharp minor. There's a G sharp minor. G sharp B. D sharp. And I'm putting a, 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 a nice seven in there. And what do I, I and I'm putting a two in there. And I get seven, two, minor third, five, off the G sharp, right? And I just break that part, except I made it a, a little squister. I made it to the four, sorry. And that's the riff in 16th note against the G sharp, crawling up the full G sharp, G sharp, B, D sharp, D sharp chord in the left hand. Right? Oh, and then the walk down, then the walk down, then the walk down. Um, I'm sorry, you're right. Oh, no, in this one, I forget, I, I forget sometimes. Sorry, I, sorry, y'all. Sometimes I think it's a pure four chord in the, in the left hand, and it's not. It's a seven, and I'm doing the seven. I'm doing the G sharp. Look at the G sharp seven. There it is. I'm not going to the eight. I'm going to the seven in the walk. Because I'm doing that, just that random walk down. It doesn't really make any sense, but it is there in my mind that I wanted to do it that way. So that's why it is. So let's just go with it. Watch. Watch the walk. Do you 
hear that? Um, here we go. Go, go again. <laughs> and then we're in um, A2, A2, A7-2. A7, just crawling right on the A7 chord. Watch. I'm right here where the arrow is, right here, there. Down, bottom, 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 left. And there's my walk down and my, my squish four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, two, seven chord in the block. Right? So I'm, I'm in the A7-2. A7-2. Melodic melody being the C sharp. Just crawling right from the three, four, three, four, three, four, three, which the riff is going to be kind of answering it. So we're going, um, here we go. Answer it. With a, with a walk in the bass, you know. And then again, I go completely distorted. I'm still going to think G sharp in the bottom, but just because I was crawling up here, then I was going to A. Now I'm going to go to B flat. Let the computer do the work. Let the computer do the work for you. We're going to change everything to flats in this next measure. Boom! That's right. right. Everything in the key C, in the E, and E, because that way, the computer do all the work for us, and it's going to change everything to flats. Here I am, B flatting. And I'm still G sharping, but I now call it a B flat minor, whatever. I just call it a B flat, whatever. Here we go. And then, um, um, what? It's a blasting. I don't know where. where oh, wait. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Um, oh, yeah. Just to, uh, uh, just to, um, uh, to kind of a distortion crash and then a no chord <laughs> which is just no chord but it's basically a C sharp D C sharp with a B in the bass all those beats that just finished the second verse a little dramatic there don't you think time to go back to home and just sing a chorus out here we go right here Here's the lead to the chorus. Remember, the stems might go one way when I wanted to go the other way, but these boots just don't wouldn't let me go the other way. So what I do is I just let it go. That's why that stem is down right there. You went on like there was a nice rest there, like there'd be another part, another instrument, please. Thank you. So no chord here, so, but there really A sus to the B, then an E with the D bass, then an A with the C sharp bass, and there's that little answer, that little little broken chord. And then my melody, all in the bottom when you're just rocking out of uh, how come you know, the A chord, the A chord in the bass, and then we're gonna we're gonna go to the F sharp minor seven, a little twirl, it's all there, but now it's just and then E with the D bass, then A with the C sharp bass. F, here's that thumbed chord. Remember, we're always looking at that thumb chord. I love that A and B of the F sharp minor seven with the four and the seven and the two and the minor three and the four. And the pretty chord. It's always labeled right before the page turn. But I'm emphasizing with root fifth. And then E with the D bass but broken. A with the C sharp bass. F sharp minor seven. I come to the crescendo of the D major seven. Page turn and to um, C A with a C sharp bass bass, but I'm gonna still I'm gonna make it the move because I wanted that just distortion. I'm going just walking as I said in between with the A one two one two. Because I wanted to emphasize what's coming is the B minor seven. Nice reset resolution to that distortion that was just right before it, and put it now an E in the bottom of it and keep it with it, and it just makes it G with an E bass, leading to the climax of the chorus, A two, 
And here's a bunch of A's. A, 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 G. Didn't have enough keys because 76 keys. It's cool. And then resolute resolution by a no chord. And then the squish part of taking a G sharp minor seven and just bending it between the four and the plus four. And then making and then, then moving the bass to the C sharp to make it a C sharp minor seven. And then page turn. Gotta get a switch on uh, F sharp minor seven. Two. And then we're F sharp minor seven two riff that changes to an A7-2. Let me see that again. Uh, F sharp minor seven two. All in the A7, A7, and then climaxing in the crescendo. D major seven. C sharp minor seven stretched. C sharp minor seven stretched. Yeah. F sharp minor seven. And the D, major seven two, comes in huge. No chord part. No chord, no chord, no. To emphasize, do it back to D major seven. Break the chord and go all the way down the keyboard and go to the resolution of C sharp minor. C sharp. And then it the C sharp so like we did before. Now it's in. Uh, harmony? Or no, it's in consonants. Or no, it's in sweetness. F sharp minor 7, 2, 4. And now, um, E, D, 2 with an E bass. Let's scroll. Times with 4. We've already done this twice song. How do we end it? gospel -y. Do a little bit of that little taking an A to a D, an A to an E, to an A, D to an E, but then kind of just rocking it, rocking it, you know, like uh, that's what I've written, written there. It's just kind of just going back and forth, but it ends up because of time. I go as I'm doing it. Like this. It just ended. Yeah, with one note. Because I was going there. I did that one time and I'm like, that's the end of the song, that's so cool. The sun and moon give us those candlelight eyes. <laughs>